Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. We just hit 37,400 subscribers. Can we get to 38k by the end of the month? Please like this video down below and subscribe to the channel before we get started. And today we have to talk about Joe Biden. Joe Biden did it again. This is an article I wrote on my website, RedEaglePolitics.com. I'm also updating the Election Center. We're going to be competing with 538, competing with Real Clear Politics and weighting the polls properly, so make sure you don't miss that analysis. But this is an article that I wrote. It's a widespread video that's going around about Joe Biden. Joe Biden says that black voters who do not back him in his own terms ain't black. This was a question that Charlemagne the God asked Biden. He asked Biden, he said, Biden, we're going to invite you on the show a couple times ahead of November to get your opinion on certain issues. And Biden said, basically, in a very condescending manner, that there were no questions. And anyone who would even question Trump over Biden ain't black in his view. This is absolutely crazy, and in my opinion, it's just asinine, especially the fact that he's not insulting just black Trump supporters, but he is insulting black undecided voters as well. This is insane, and I said that it is a very patronizing thing that he did, and it's a recipe for disaster. You have this white man on the right. This is a man who at one point defended certain types of segregation. At one point, he was, you know, friends with the KKK leader, Robert Byrd, this, that, and the other thing, and and he has a history, again, he said the N-word on the Senate floor back in the early 90s. However, when Papa John says it in a similar manner, he gets his life destroyed by the left. So I'm sick and tired of, of hearing the double standards that they put for the right and the double standards that they put for the left. There's really no excuse for what he said. There's black people that vote Republican. There's black people that vote Democrat. Black people, just like white people have the right to think for themselves on certain issues. And it's it's a recipe for disaster. Of course, it's not going to change the black electorate. Trump is not going to gain a big substantial percentage of the black vote from this. However, Biden is not going to be able to max out his potential with undecided black voters, which do exist, by the way, as a result. For example, in the Economist YouGov poll, Biden has just 76% of the black vote. Trump only has 9%, which is just a 1% increase from 2016. But 15% of the black electorate are undecided. This is going to turn off some of them that might feel a little patronized that Joe Biden feels entitled to their support just because they're black and he has a D next to his name. And I still, again, would expect Biden to crack 80, probably at least over 85% of the black vote. But still, comments like this, and he, this is just the tip of the iceberg to come for Biden. I'm actually surprised he did an interview to begin with. This kind of stuff will depress turnout, not just among black Democrats, but among Democrats as a whole. And even in the recent Quinnipiac poll, which was garbage, it had Trump, and this is not why it was garbage, it had Trump with 3% of black voters. It also had Trump almost winning Hispanic voters and barely winning white voters, so it just was not a very good poll. And the, the poll showed Biden was still at 81%. So again, that would still mean there's 16%, 15 or 16% of the black electorate that could be up for grabs or undecided. And it doesn't matter if it's going to change the electorate because it's going to hurt him a little bit, okay? In the Rust Belt, if Trump's up by 10,000 votes in Wisconsin, Biden fails to turn out the proper numbers in Milwaukee in order for him to win the state of Wisconsin, that would automatically push the election into the Republican column and hand Donald Trump four more years. So I don't think that this is going to be the only issue that does it, but I think you could see a pattern here. Biden is going to keep going. It's not just this issue, but it is what it is. And again, it's shameful. It's very shameful. Biden, the Democrats, they continue to act entitled to the black vote. And a lot of black voters, sadly, are going to back Biden no matter what, at least 80% in this election, at the very least. At the very most, maybe Biden could get up by where Hillary was. Trump has made efforts to reach out to black Americans, especially during his presidency. He's passed more black-specific legislation in the first three years of his presidency than Barack Obama passed in eight. He refunded the HBCUs. He passed the prison reform. He's doing this, that, and the other thing. Black small business assistance, uh, opportunity zones, school choice, all that kind of stuff. And even Van Jones is afraid that Trump's going after the black vote. And it doesn't really matter if he's going to get, uh, you know, 20%. We're not going to see that. 
But if Trump gets 12% instead of 8%, that's a big deal. And that's going to reduce Biden's black vote share, especially in places like the Rust Belt, places like North Carolina, places like Florida. To say that people are not of a certain skin color because they think differently from you, it, it's just, it's cringe. That's just not entirely accurate. Um, black voters who do not back Biden are not not black. It's the same way that black voters who do back Biden are black. The fact that Biden is going to act like he's entitled to black support when he has a track record of monumental failure, even by the modern Democrat left-wing standards, is absolutely laughable. And honestly, it, we, it's sad that we live in a society where, yes, the media in our country is so problematic towards Republicans that Trump has really no shot to gain with black voters other than a few percentage points here, maybe a few percentage points there. But it's just sad to see. And the Democrats are going to cower before this man. They're going to make every excuse in the book. They're going to say, oh, but Blumpf is the raciest, my, my impeachments. Yeah, okay, we're going to do a video on that eventually, debunking all the reasons, the 50 reasons Democrats like to uh, slander Trump on the issue of race, because a lot of them are overblown, it's entire garbage. But Biden's going to go out there with such confidence and such a condescending attitude when the guy's literally got dementia and he's going to say this, he's going to say black voters who don't support him are not black. It's nonsense, and I honestly don't think this helps, even though most black people are going to agree with Joe Biden. I still don't think this is going to help him in any way. Back in 2016, we saw Barack Obama go out there and say, it will be insulting to my legacy if you do not come out and vote for Hillary Clinton. I think that turned off a lot of people, even former Obama supporters that voted for Obama twice. I think that that statement of Obama turned them off. So honestly, we're seeing this and it's crazy. And we saw a lot of black conservatives come out today that were um, going at Biden hilariously. John James out of Michigan, the great Senate candidate we have in particular, he had a great two-minute video that he posted on Twitter. Tim Scott did a great job on Fox News earlier today. So we see this um, we see this unfolding, and everybody's attacking Biden. Democrats are silent. They're not really standing up for Biden. That's not a good look. He apologized. Yes, he did. We have to be fair. We have to talk about the fact he apologized. Biden said, yeah, I was a little too crass. Okay. And then Biden turns uh, the, the page and flips it on Blumpf and says Blumpf bad because uh, Blumpf said this, Blumpf did this, which he didn't do. He keeps, he keeps pushing the lie about Charlottesville that Trump said that racists were good people. That's a complete and total debunked lie. Trump literally said in the same sentence that he was not talking about the racists. He was talking about another group. And in that group, we have fully documented the facts that there was neo-Confederates who were Jewish and black. So it's complete and total nonsense, but the Democrats are going to push their narrative, but not allow Republicans to make a valid criticism of Biden. So there you have it. it it's just, it's absolutely insane. And will this dent the election at the end of the day? Probably not. We have five to six months ahead of us between now and election day. But what this does is it cements the fact that Biden has no filter. Biden cannot keep his mouth shut, even more so than Donald Trump could. Because, you know, last time around, Trump was the anti-establishment boisterous candidate. At the same time, he was running against Hillary Clinton, who was calculated like a robot. She was, came off as very well prepared, whether you like her or not. This time, Donald Trump has the ability to be that same crass voice who's anti-establishment, but at the same time, he has the brains. He has the brains in this race. So it's absolutely insane. You have Biden up here that's acting super patronizing to black voters, taking them for granted, acting like they're stupid, saying, if you don't support me, you must hate yourself. And then we have Donald Donald Trump over here who's actually made a genuine outreach to the black community despite the fact he knows that it's not going to help him win an election. He knows that the black vote is always going to go 90-10 Democrat, but still in his heart he finds it to be good to somehow make the outreach anyways. It basically just shows you how morally bankrupt the Democrats are and how morally fulfillment Trump is because Trump is doing things, going out of his way, maybe even a little too much at some times, 
to, to say to reach out to a community that's not going to like him no matter what. And then Biden's out here and he's taking him for granted. It's total, complete nonsense. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like this video down below, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on social media. Join the Discord and subreddit. Donate to the Patreon and subscribe. Star links in description. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Red Eagle, out.